Hi, so this is one of our videos in a playlist that looks at a common teaching topic, but through the lens of different AI tools. If you have not yet played with the built-in AI tools that are part of Canva, get ready. It's pretty powerful. Again, these are um, these have been released somewhat recently. So I'm also just really excited to see what else Canva um, includes in their lineup of AI tools. They do have a text to image, text to video generator, um, and they also have a writing tool as well. So lots of fun things to play with. And let's take a look at something that I've already generated, and then I'll walk you through how I built it. So our common topic is looking at this notion of teaching the six traits of writing. So I've created a document here um, that I would use as a handout. I've got a banner at the top. I have a working uh, list of definitions of each of the traits. Then I have a little challenge which asks students which of the traits is depicted in each image below. And then I also have a sample piece of flash fiction, a list of the traits used, and a bullet point breakdown explaining where uh, they were used. So uh, again, if you want to look at this in greater depth, the link to it is in the show notes of this uh, video. So you'll be able to find it in the description there. But let me just show you again, once you started a document, everything is in the power of that plus button. So once I click the plus button, I can go ahead and select magic, right? So this is where um, I can basically just the way that you would uh, prompt chat GPT, I can explain what I want the magic studio magic, right tool to provide for me. So I'm going to ask it, can you give me three uh, pieces of advice for improving that example flash fiction piece? And then I click generate. And there we go. So if I wanted to add another image, I can either select design. And this gives me all different kinds of styles and templates. Um, so let's say I just want to do an end banner. I can even do the magic right tool, but I could just say, happy writing. And then what's great is it embeds right into the document. If I want to use that text to image generator, which is really fun, I come over to elements. And generate your own. Now I've already used this, so I'm just going to say go back. And I'm going to ask it for six icons depicting the six traits of writing. And what's really cool is there's all of these different styles that I can pick from as well. So I will pick for this one color pencil, create my image. And again, Canva's magic media tool will give me a few to pick from. And what you'll notice here is I wasn't really specific enough. Um, so probably I would want to list it, but I can also try the generate again to see if just having it give me four different options does much better. And it is really fun to play around with those different styles. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is I have this as a handout or as a doc, but there's another tool up here where I can actually convert this document to a slideshow. So again, there is a lot to play around with when it comes to the AI tools in Canva. 
And I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to uh, release a few more tools, certainly by perhaps the end of this academic year. Hope that gets you started playing around with the built-in AI tools as part of Canva.